fit the function. For example, as I give you derivative of phi sin x. Remove the constant outside and differentiate the function. Is it clear? So your answer is phi cos x. Second rule, this I already taught you in 11th standard. If two functions are connected by plus sign, then it is derivative of the first one plus derivative of the second. For example, derivative of x cube plus log x. It's a derivative of x cube plus derivative of log x. So derivative of x cube is 3x square and derivative of log x is 1 by x. Is it fine? This we did yesterday all this. Even if it is minus sign, direct derivative. What will be the derivative of u multiplied with v? Two functions are product function. Can anybody tell me? This we did last year. So v d, du upon dx plus u dv upon dx. Yes. Take one of them. First one as it is, derivative of the second. Plus second as it is, derivative of the first. So how will you find the derivative of x square into cos x? Yes, tell me, Austin. So x square into derivative of cos x. Yeah. Plus cos x into derivative of x square. Derivative of x square. So that is x square into minus sin x. Plus cos x into two. Plus cos x into two x. So minus x square sin x plus two x cos x. Is it clear? Yes, Everybody? Sir. Yes, sir. The fourth one. Yes, sir. Derivative of u by v. What derivative of u by v? V into derivative of u minus, so always start from the denominator. Denominator, derivative of numerator. Now reverse. Numerator, derivative of denominator. Upon square of the denominator. This is when division. That's why derivative of sine x upon cos x. We did not derivative of sine x upon cos x. I asked you, is it minus cos x upon, look at this. Suppose I want to find derivative of cortex. It is derivative of cos x upon sin x. So if I want to differentiate the u upon v, I need to use the fourth rule. I cannot write derivative of numerator upon, this is wrong. Derivative of cos x minus sin x, derivative of sin x cos x. Are you hearing me? This is totally wrong. Have you heard? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today, again, I'm giving worksheet. If you make me like this mistake, you had it. Start from the denominator. Start from the denominator. Derivative of the numerator. Minus numerator into derivative of denominator. Whole divided by the square of the denominator. If you do that, what will be my answer? This will become sine x into minus sine x. Minus sine x. Minus cos x. Derivative of sine x is again cos x. Cos x. Upon sine square x. Now tell me what minus, numerator became. Minus sine square x minus cos square x divided by sine square x. x. So I can write it this way. Minus of sine square x plus cos square x. Yes. Divided by one. sine square x. Sine square x. And then minus 1 divided minus by Minus 1 sin upon sine square x. So are you getting minus cos square x? Yes, sir. Yes. So did you get the answer correct now? Cortex derivative is minus cos square x? Yes, sir. So unless you do your this rule, 
fourth rule if you don't apply in a division of two functions you cannot get the answer correct is it clear please note down this formula have you note down oh. one second sir i'm writing yeah. just i'll explain because i did not record it first point when you are differentiating with respect to x cos a is a constant and when you have constant with the function remove the constant outside and differentiate the function so how do you decide it's a constant the variable here is x x is not present in it so there is no x in it therefore it's a constant so remove the constant outside differentiate the function is the first part clear to everybody yes sir second question we have only formula for derivative of a raised to x we do not have the formula to differentiate a raised to x plus 2 so what we did 5 raised to x plus 2 is written as 5 raised to x into 5 square which is 25 times 5 raised to x okay log is to the base 3 is log x upon log 3 Understood? Have you followed? Yes, sir. As a plus sign, directly you can differentiate term by term by removing constants outside. I hope all of you have written this. Yes, sir. No, sir. One minute. Yeah. Go on, Casey. Okay, next one. D by D X of uh, X cube. Into tan x. Derivative of x cube is how much? Three uh, x square. Three x square. Derivative of tan x is how much? Derivative of tan x is six square x, right? So yes. can I write my answer as three x square into six square x? Is this correct or wrong? Uh, this is wrong, sir. You should not write. It's totally it. wrong. The answer is wrong here. So whenever there is a multiplication between two functions, not with the constant, between two functions, we must apply product rule. So how do you apply the product rule? So x cube then derivative of tan x. Ah, uh, one at a time. X cube will be kept as it is. Derivative of tan x, one at a time. Out of the two, only one at a time. Plus. As tan x into derivative of x cube. Ah, uh, into derivative of x cube. So your answer became x cube into six square x plus tan x into three x square. Three x square. So if you take x square common, you need to write your answer as small as possible. X six square x plus three tan x. Is it clear? Yes, sir. This is example number three. Three. Third rule. For third rule, I'll give you an example. Sir. Yeah, tell me. Sir, DPP. If this type of questions come and uh, answer comes like this, huh. how to write the answer? No, that that's why I give you all those type of questions where there's a square, etc. I don't give it as a typing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. They, I always give you as a now either true or false, or I give you as a uh, options. Okay, But sir. when there is only like I gave you c x into tan x, there is I can you can type it only those which you can type only I'll ask. But I have another idea to do. Check whether you are right or wrong. What I'll do is I'll ask you to do this way. Are you ready? Can I remove this? Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. See, I have another idea to ask you a question. Just I'll show you. If y is equal to, can write down. If y is equal to, let's say, uh, x cube into cos x. Find dy by dx when x is equal to pi by two. Can ask you this way so that your answer will end up in an answer in a number. 
or while x equal to 0 i'll put it no x equal to 0 will be a problem okay. x equal to pi by 2 so if i do that what will be my d by by dx d by dx of x cube into cos x, into cos x. that will be x cube d by dx of cos x yeah. plus uh, cos x into d by dx of x cube to d by dx of x cube So that became x cube into minus sine x plus cos plus x, cos x plus into 3x squared. So minus x cube cos x plus 3x squared cos x. Huh? Minus x cube sine x. Minus x cube sine x plus 3x squared cos x. After the derivative is over, you need to put x as pi by 2. So dy by dx at x equal to pi by 2. See the way I'm writing? At x equal yeah. to pi by 2. That means wherever x is there, replace it by pi by 2. Pi by 2. Sine 90. Now you know cos pi by 2 is 0. Yes. Sir. So this whole part became 0. So my mm. final answer will be minus pi by 2 the whole cube. So I'll mm. end up in a number. So I'll ask the answer as a number. So you can't make out whether the option has product tool or not a product tool, etc. And whatever the questions you are likely to make mistake, I will put in true or false. So dy by dx is equal to d by dx of so start from the denominator 1 minus tan x into d by dx of cos x start from the denominator derivative of the numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator. Denominator divided by denominator square. De divided by denominator square. Derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of tan x is 6 square x. Then open the bracket. Minus sine x plus sine x into tan x. When you open this, you will get only sec x divided by 1 minus tan x whole square. Got the idea? So how come cos, you get the plus sec x uh, second part? Cos, cos x into sec square x. Cos x See, uh, cos x can be written as 1 by sec x, no? Yes, sir. Achha, ha. Understood, sir. Yeah. 1 by sec x into sec square x. So 1 sec x will get cancelled. I know how to differentiate x to the power 5. Did you notice that these two terms are same? Here x, here base, both are same. Now I'm writing another example. d by dx of x square plus 1 raised to 5. Here the base was x, variable of differentiation was x. Both were same. Here base is x. But variable of differentiation is something else. 
then how will I find out the derivative? Did you understand? Okay, give me the answer. D by du of u raised to five. What is my answer? Five u raised to four. D by du, okay, D by dx of u raised to five. Then it should be zero because zero. here it's constant term. Your u is a function of x. What does u stands for? A function of x, like x squared plus one, two x plus one, uk under x i I'm just denoting for a, making you learn the formula. U is like x squared plus one. In that case, how will I find the derivative? Can I write it as five u raised to four? Is this correct? No, sir. No, no this is wrong. No. So what I'm going to do is a small trick. I will divide and multiply with the du. Chalega? So this part e is not du. here. Can you explain it again? Five by three is similar to five by two into two by three. Yes, sir. When I catch either. Two se divide kiya, multiply kiya. And multiply. Du say same operation kiya. Okay, so, understood. Yes, sir. Now I can find the derivative of this. So hmm. five u raised to four into du by dx. Whenever the base is different from the variable of differentiation, but base is a function of x, what you did? Divided and multiplied with the du so that the first part can be differentiated. So you are going to tell me answers a little fast. Okay, everybody participate. Otherwise you're not going to learn this. This is a tough part and this is the basics. D by dx of u raised to seven. Should be seven u raised to six into du by dx. Correct. How fast you learned it, very good. Because you interact, you learn. But there are some fools who never interact and they never learn, and they don't bother. So d by dx of u raised to 20. 20 u raised to 19 d u by dx. d u by dx. Got the idea? Everybody followed? Yes. Sir. Now I'm going to apply this formula. Don't write, just pay attention only. Don't write anything. I'm going to apply this formula. I wanted to differentiate x squared plus one raised to five. This is like u. This is your u. What will be your answer? Five u raised to four into d by dx of u. What is u? x squared plus one. So my answer will be five x squared plus one raised to four Derivative of x square, 2x. Uh, 2x. 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 1, 0. 0. So that is my answer. So 10x into x square plus 1 raised to 4. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Everybody yes, followed sir. this first rule? Yes, sir. So yes. write the heading, chain rule. Chain rule. Formula number 1. Formula number one. Name of this rule is power rule. I'm giving a name for it so that I'll ask you power rule use karo, to say that way. What is the, what you have to notice? D by dx of x to the power n is n x raised to n minus one. With the pencil, you just mark it x here, x here, same. Okay. Then besides it, you will write here d by dx of u to the power n. Note that u is a function of x. u is a function of x. So u is not a constant. 
how the logic works is divide and multiply with the du. This is a logic how it works. And after you work with your logic, you learn this as a formula. Understood? This is my formula, which I'm going to use all the time. What are the things to note? Power rules start with what? Power rule starts with what? Tell me. The power. Starts with the power. Then what do you do after that? Original power is reduced by one. Then what happens? So started with power, original power reduced by one. Then what is the third thing? Derivative, then multiply by, then multiply by derivative of the base. Correct, no? This function has two things. Base is a function of x, power is a constant. Then you must start with the power. Original power should be reduced by one and then differentiate the base again, only base. Base should not have the power. Here n, n is there, here n is not there. Derivative of only base and not the power, with the power. Have you understood? Yes, sir. Power rule yes. is clear. So first yes. point in power rule, how should we start the derivative? With the power. Power. Then what should I do next uh, Next term? The original power should be reduced by one. Uh, reduce the power by one. Yes. Then third, third term, what is the third term? First Multiply term. the derivative of base. The second, this is third. Hmm. So first one started with power. Second term, you reduce the power by one. And what is the third term? Derivative of what? Derivative of you. Base. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Than this, I don't know how to explain. Okay. Now try to start doing the problem. D by dx of x cube plus four raised to seven. Write your answer d by dx of cos cube x, d by dx of sine cube x. So how do you start with? You know, I'll put sine square x. There will be your sine square x. Okay, how to start? Seven into seven into x cube plus four the x whole x cube plus four raised to raised six. to six. Six. So first term is the power. Reduce the power by one. Third term. Then derivative of derivative of d uh, by dx of what? x cube plus, plus four. Is it x cube plus four raised to seven or only x cube plus four? Should only I put only, x plus four. No, only only the base. Only the base. Now write your answer. I'll write it over here. Seven x cube plus four raised to six. Now each term you have to differentiate. X cube derivative, they are same base. Have you noticed derivative this direct formula? You don't have to do any extra. So three x cube. Final answer, 21 will be the number. Then x square, then the big term. I hope all of you understood. Yes, sir. Now again, next one. Cos cube x. What is the power here? Three. 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 Uh, three. So 
reduce the power by one cos square x into derivative of the base e by dx of cos x so three cos square x into minus sin x very good chaitanya nice to see your answer some of you are able to write this square some of you are not able to write i don't know who can write and who cannot write otherwise in the i could have given you the filling the blanks of this kind okay i am waiting for your answer for the last one yes parinita correct answer okay d by dx of x raised to half ah uh -huh. then next step then further it can be written as half yeah. x raised to minus half now uh, using x the x raised to minus half common deriv derivative derivative this is a very lengthy way of writing you should directly use this formula 1 by 2 root x yeah. that derivative of root x is 1 by 2 root x so what is derivative of root u okay root u with respect to u eh? they are both are same base is same 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 okay hmm. so what will be the answer 1 by 2 root 2 uh, root u 1 by 2 root u if they are same you are directly use this formula But d by dx of root u. Uh, Now they are different, not huh. same. Remember, u is not a constant. U is a function of x. Function of x, yeah. U has got some x in it, which I have not written there, but understood. So Then what I have to do? Divide and multiply with u, du. Whenever you come across like this, this is what you have to do. Is it right? Huh? Yes. So the formula became what? One by derivative of root u is one by two root u into du into... by dx. Followed? Yes, sir. So here is my formula for roots. In fact, the square roots. What is square root? Not for cube root, ah? Huh? If it is square root, don't write raised to half. Any other root, you write raised to one by three or one by four. Directly apply the formula. Derivative of root of a function, square root of a function, one by two root of the function into derivative of the base. What is the, what do you mean by base here? The third root, whatever inside the root. Is it clear? So yes, give me the answer for yes, this. Sir. D by dx of root sine x. It will be one by two root sine x into d by dx of yes, sine x. That is by cos x. Sine x. That is one by two root sine x into cos x. Into cos x. What got the idea? Root rule yes, is it clear? Everybody understood the root rule. Hmm. It comes in the denominator. So how it start with? How the root rule start with? Start with half. First term is half. Second term. I'll write it like this. One minute. First term, second term. First term is half. Second term is one upon the quotient. And d by dx of the base, correct? No, d by uh -huh. dx of the term without the power, without the root. Q I wrote. What do you mean by Q? Jo bhi idhar hai, or denominator mein aa jayega. So start with half, then one upon the question, and derivative of the base. Only for square root you will apply this rule. Is it fine? Yes, sir. Okay. Now let me give you some more questions. Are you ready? One second, sir. Need to write this. Yeah. Okay. Write it. 
Yeah, one minute, one minute. Yeah, okay. Whenever you have one upon x square plus one, first of all, express it as a power. Then apply the power rule. Yes, sir. Thank you. Derivative of root of one plus sine x. One by root of. Remember, our previous root formula is where root is the numerator. You cannot this apply for root of the numerator. Ah. So, how will you do it? We apply power rule then because if it's in denominator, you cannot apply square root formula. Yes. Even in the root rule, you can apply power rule. Eh? With root of 1 plus yes. nx raised to half, you can do. Still, you will get the answer correct. No problem. But I wanted you to learn directly. So, can you give me the answer? Minus half into one plus sine x raised to uh, um, half, I suppose. No, yeah. minus half. Minus half plus one. It looking like this, no? Huh. Then it will be uh, half only. That's and all? then d by, d by oh. dx of one plus sine x. D by dx of one plus sine x d by dx of 1 is 0 and for sin x it's cos x so it will be minus half into 1 plus sin x raised to half into cos x if i put x square root you like it ah fine sir into cos x so it will be minus half minus 1 oh yeah correct you are right my dear minus I, three mistake. By two. I did plus 1 yeah yeah so minus 3 by 2 so then i don't have a chance to do that then only thing I can write is one upon one upon one plus sine x into cos x. So make your answer beautiful. Minus cos x upon two times one plus sine x raised to three by two. Notice that this minus became positive while coming to denominator. Minus three by two, I hope all of you understood. Okay, I'll change the question. Are you already started? No, no, sir. Not started. Then wait. Log 2 to the base x. We have done log x to the base 2. What about log 2 to the base x? It became log 2 upon log x. Log x. Log 2 into log. Ah, very good. Log 2 outside. And 1 by log x, how do you differentiate? Log x raised to minus 2. Uh -huh. Now play the rule. Complete it yourself. 